everybody, welcome to Colorado by Car. We are here in colorful Colorado Springs with Emmy and Chuck, and we are headed to Pikes Peak. So come along and join us, we'll show you the ropes. Thanks, bye. So to get to Pikes Peak from Denver, you take I-25 South to Colorado Springs, and then at Highway 24, which was the exit Cimarron, 141. oh, exit 141, and it was the Cimarron exit, right? Um, then you head west and you go past Manitou Springs and you'll see the exit for Pikes Peak on to the left. So it's a left hand turn off of 24. Um, right up here we're approaching, well there's Garden of the Gods over that way. Um, up here is also Cave of the Winds which is pretty cool and the, uh, what's that one place? Manitou. Yeah, the cliff dwellings, which is also really cool. So you should check those out as well. Okay. Here's the cliff dwellings. Right up here. See, there's the sign. I don't know if you can see that. No, well, not through that car. Sorry. The uh, entrance to the cliff dwellings is right there. Ooh, those people are waiting to turn. And up here we have some police actions. We're all going slow, but we'll be around that soon. And right in front of us is Cave of the Winds. And you can see the sign right there. And yeah. So Cave of the Winds is right over here. Um, you can't see much. It's all treed up. They have some cool stuff though. They have a zip line now and a... Oh, but it's up there. Do you see that? Probably not. It's neat though. Cave of the Winds is a nice, a nice underground cavern dealio. So there's a strangely large amount of traffic on US 24 today, but the exit is in one half mile from here. All right, signs ahead. We're almost there. Um, again, normally there's not this many cars out here. It's really strange, uh, but yeah, left hand turn up ahead. Also, there's a light, so we will get an arrow. Can you see that arrow? Yeah, see? Like, like Speak Highway or Bust. The North Pole is also up here. We'll show you that. It's a little bouncy, sorry. As usual, we are driving up later than we should. It is currently 158. When you go to the mountains, it's really more ideal to go in the morning because in the afternoon it always clouds up and there's storms. Uh, but we just always run late, so we always go late. No big deal. See the dark clouds? Yeah. Oh, and here we come. We're almost to the North Pole. There we go. Sorry. There's the North Pole. And I don't know. I might have to show you more when I come back down because it'll be a better angle. Anyway, the North Pole is open from, I think, May to December. All right, and now that we lost all the North Pole traffic, we are good to go. This is nice. <laughs> For now, let's see. You can see, well, maybe not, but over there, there was a fire a while back. Oh, look, here we are. This is the entrance. So, um, it was $15 per person for us to get in with early purchasing. No, it still says 15 bucks. So, yeah, so it's not per car, it's per person. This is privately owned. This is not a government, um, like a national park or a state park or anything. So, just FYI. And, uh, yeah, looks like it says $15 per person, ages 16 and up. Uh, 6 through 15 looks like 5 bucks per person, and kids under 5 are free. And something says 50 bucks. All right. Um, car load. Per car load. Oh, okay. Here's the actual entrance station up here. So you can see it's kind of fancy. Let's see if I can slowly zoom in. There. But eventually we'll get there. All right. We made it through and we are on our way up. Again, it's been a busy day. No drones. Yeah, no drones. Okay, cool. It's been a busy day everywhere we've gone so far. So, um, they're talking about something being closed because of weather. I guess we'll find out. And guess what we didn't bring? Jackets. Also a big mistake. Normally I'm on top of this and I just totally forgot about jackets. So <laughs> hopefully it's not too cold at the top. I mean, right now it's 88 degrees, but at the top it could be cold. Some quick information about Pike's Peak. 
it is at 14,115 feet above sea level. We just passed a sign saying 8,000 feet above sea level, so we're going to rise another 6,000 feet. It's 19 miles to the top, and again, it is not a national park, and you need a half gallon of gas to get the top, get to the top, and you need two to three hours to do it. And just here's some miscellaneous stuff if you're interested. There's a shuttle, no pets on the shuttle. All right, there's a lake up here, things like that. Weather looks iffy. Good. Hey, so now we are at uh, Crystal Creek Reservoir. Normally, this is full of water, but as you can see, it is not today. So, yeah, and usually there's a bunch of people here fishing and, um, but they are doing some ins inspections, it looks like. Here's a little sign. So, built in 1935, it's part of the second system developed for Colorado Springs water supply. So, yeah, this is the first time I've been up here when the reservoir is empty. And we have some thunder up here. Uh, so, I think we at least have an umbrella, right, honey? We do. Okay, so that's good. We got Emmy. So, dogs are allowed on these trails since this is not a uh, national park. It is in a national forest, but dogs are allowed in the national forest, so we're good. Um, there's quite a few people here. Not right here at this exact spot, but here, you know, up at uh, Pikes Peak and everything else. You even ran into a coworker. Yeah, Chuck already ran into one of his coworkers down here, so that was cool. And, okay. Oh no, it's Bigfoot. We spotted him. <laughs> we are heading on up the hill and it's raining as you can see. Okay, so here's what I think is maybe happening is that they're telling people that they need to take this shuttle to the top because there's a lady stopping people up here. Um, since we have Emmett, they're just gonna let us go to the top, according to the guy. Thank you, Em. <laughs> So I'll let you know if that's right. See those people up there in the yellow? I think they're telling the people to take the shuttle. Okay, we're gonna record this. Hi, sir, that's the first gentleman. We'll give you an update. Just gonna put a gentleman in the front. Thank you. That's a guy. I thought it was a girl. <laughs> hey, so um, unfortunately the summit is closed right now. There's a bunch okay. of like hail and lightning and stuff on top. Mm. Okay. And so the highest you can go. Never mind. You're all good to keep going. Okay. okay. Cool. <laughs> Thank <Thanks>. you. <laughs> okay, so I wasn't exactly right. There's hail at the top. They're just letting us know we can't go forward. But actually, now they're saying we can go forward. So they are keeping an eye on this storm. And they're not going to let us go up there if it's dangerous. Um, but apparently, it's not dangerous enough. So we're going to go. Woohoo! If we die, this will be our last video. Right, honey? Right, bunny. <laughs> oh, look there. Okay. Okay, here, as we come around, you can maybe see. There it is. That's Pikes Peak straight ahead. Okay, yeah. It's coming around again. It's like my Mount Meeker video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, here we go. And there it is. No, that's not it. That's not it. Uh, it's over there. Well, anyway, it's over there. You can't see it right now. Okay, so now we've reached another checkpoint. Um, usually when you come down from the top, they check your brakes here to make sure they're not burning and make you stop if they are. Um, I don't know what they're doing right now. They might be telling us about the weather at the top or something, but anyway, here's what it looks like. There's some pretty flowers over there. Can you see them? And it is still stormy. Hey guys, you're right. good. Way to the top. Just be careful. Okay. Because okay. is, there is slick roads up there. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks. Thank yep. you. Hey, Wild West. Okay, so they just wanted to let us know that the roads are slick. So, see, there's the checkpoint where they check your brakes. All right, here we go. Okay, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, me and 
enjoying the drive. Here's where we're at. And here's what's right in front of us. A nice drop off. And you can see over there. Well, never mind. Okay, it's coming around. Here we go. That'll be on my side. <laughs> okay. Here's what you can see. To see what we can see. Oh, yeah. Pretty neat. Alright, that says be prepared to stop, and guess what? We're stopped. <laughs> See? But there's some flowers up there. So it looks like maybe this is a, oh yeah, 16 mile shuttle parking. Um, the only thing is we have a dog, so this might be our turnaround if they won't let us go. Shuttle parking. Alright, that's what it was. It was shuttle parking. So because we have a dog, we get to go up. So I don't know if I would say I recommend that. Because, um, you know, it's good to take a shuttle and not have too much crowding at the top. But yeah, they, just, they didn't have the shuttles before, guys. So this is all new. Um, we've definitely brought Emmett up here every single time we've come. And before that, we brought Ellie Dot and Cole up here. And so, yeah, interesting. Yeah, so honest to God, you guys, this is really weird. We have never been up here and basically had the road to ourselves. This is super bizarre. Kind of cool. Um, if you look over here, you can see where it hailed. See the hail down in there? All that white is hail that just happened. Um, but yeah. Definitely different to be up here with no traffic. Sounds like it rocks a snowstorm. Yeah, so here's a little more hail shots. Um, again, see all that white? That is hail. Now here's the good. Can you see it? A little retaining pond of sorts. Yeah, looks like it snowed, but it's not snow, it's just hail. Some views for you. It's not, you know, sunshiny, but it's still nice up here. If we would have come earlier, it would probably have been sunshiny. So just a clue, if you want sunshine, come earlier. <laughs> if you want exciting weather, come later. Okay, everybody, you might be going too fast, but this is a talus slope. Um, yeah, and I guess there's some pica up here, but probably not going to see those. <laughs> Okay, we've reached the top. They're doing construction. They're building a new summit house. So that's what all this is about. Um, again, this is another thing that it wasn't like this before. Um, this was parking. So I don't know where we're gonna park, but yeah, look at this. Look at all this construction. Interesting, huh? And if you're wondering, it is now 44 degrees. So a little chilly. Yeah, wow, this is totally not, not what we were thinking, and it's really muddy. I don't know, man. May not be able to bring an Emmy out here. No. Even though it we might have to. Muddy. So if he has, he might have to go potty later. This is very interesting. And, oh, I guess we're parking here. Sounds good. <laughs> wow. Alrighty. We're here. All right, we are at the top. This is the Summit House, the old Summit House. The current Summit House. You can see there's quite a few people. You can take your picture with the sign here. And we'll go out as far as we can. It's raining, we've got our jackets. <laughs> oh well. So the big deal here is the donuts. Here they are. And that's how much they cost. How's the donut? Pretty good. How about you? Taste it. Pretty good. good. Okay. So the donuts are good because they're crispy on the outside and... Chewy on the inside. Yes. 
So here is the construction. That's where the new Summit House is going to be over there. Let's see, right over there. It's so raining on us. Here's the Cog Railroad. Apparently that's not running this year. I didn't know that. But you can see Colorado Springs. Very busy in here. Speaking of heavy equipment, here comes one now. Cool. All right, so that was the top of the world there. Now we're on our way back down. Normally it's not like that. That was uh, interesting to see what it's like with um, all that construction going on. Uh, the Summit House was super crowded and it's raining and everything, so, um, but you know, it was still pretty cool. That was actually neat for me because it's not like I get to uh, go up here all the time, And but normally when I do go up here, it's not like that. So, anyway. Try not to move too fast. Oh shit, what was that? Little sunshine for ya. See? Isn't that pretty? Alright, I thought I'd stop here. So now we're a little lower and by ourselves, which is nice. So you can see. This is what it's like on top of Pikes Peak. Pretty. Sorry if I'm going too fast. I like to do that. There goes some bands. Bye guys. Bye guys. Yeah, see sunshine. Yay. We found some bighorn sheep. Oh, there they are, I see. Well, let's see. Where? Oh, yeah, see bighorn sheep, guys. There's some bighorn sheep up on Pikes Peak. Yay! Amazing, pretty over. Oh, Okay, it looks like we're gonna have a long, slow drive back down because we're following a tour bus. But we'll make it eventually. You might as well put it into lower gear. Cause... It's already in one. Okay. Yeah, we're going 15 miles an hour. Oh, that gets pretty over there. See the city? Oh, see the gray line making its U-turn? Here, we'll watch this bus. See 
there's a hairpin turn. And here he goes. Good job, bus. How you do a hairpin turn in a bus. There's the... I'm too late. Okay. Anyway, there's the bus. Hairpin turning. Oh, oh my god, that's scary, you guys. Safety wants a word. <laughs> no. Okay. Never mind about my video. Alright, we are down and this is where they do the brake check. Um, they just kind of feel your Back in your take a temperature. Oh, do yeah, they? Yeah. They have a thermos. Thermal, thermal thermometer. Okay. Or See. Infrared thermometer. Mandatory brake check. So. That's, that's what they're gonna do. All right, we passed the brake check. So when the bus didn't, he had to turn off. <laughs> so sorry, that's not funny. <laughs> But we're just glad because we don't have to follow the bus anymore. Anyway, we are on our way back down. We're back below tree line and um, in good shape. Okay, there's there's the Crystal Reservoir on full with Pikes Peak in the background. Sorry, it's bouncy. It's not my fault. <laughs> Now we're descending back down to Manitou Springs. Manitou Springs and Colorado Springs off in the distance there. All right, so now we had just went past the uh, what? Can we pull in? We just went past the Pikes Peak exit, and now we're approaching the North Pole from the side that you can see. So there you go. See, there's the entry. Free admission today, age 60 plus. Well, maybe in a few years. <laughs> um, there's Santa. Oh, here, I'm pretty sure. That's it. All right, now we're going to our favorite Mexican restaurant in Colorado Springs, which is. Oh, which is La Casita. They have really good homemade, um, homemade case, no, what am I Tortillas. They have really good homemade tortillas. There it is. On that note, we are going to sign off. Thanks for watching Colorado by Car, and we will see you next time. Thanks for taking a trip with us to Pikes Peak. Yay! Alright, if you like this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. And if you don't like, please comment and subscribe. Yeah, or if Let you have us know what we can do better. Yeah, if you have advice for us, if you can tell me what my camera setting should be, that would be awesome. I keep looking it up and I get nowhere. Anyway, <laughs> all right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.